welcome back to the Nikki Clark Show. Um, I'm just so excited to be uh, with uh, these fine gentlemen uh, because they're doing amazing things in the music industry in Toronto. Toronto has an incredible uh, a number of talented people, no shortage of talent, and uh, they're here to bring uh, their 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 brand of um, music to uh, the Toronto Airways. So I want you to meet Pat, the producer, and uh, Sleepy, Mr. Sleepy, uh, hip hop artist. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and I'm really excited about your brand of music because it's the music that I love okay. uh, because I'm stuck somewhere in the 80s and I know that you uh, you develop a sound um, with that kind of 80s, 90s vibe. Can yeah. you uh, describe what that is? Well, growing up, we listened to a lot of stuff. Our parents listened to like Michael Jackson, yes. Rick James, and I can go on and on. And those are the influences I had. So I incorporate that in my music and I incorporate a bunch of other type of music like anything current but my main thing would be back then in the okay. 80s okay oh, the, the yeah, 80s. Yeah, it was a great time for the it music. was a great time <laughs> well well let's let's go back a little bit and uh, talk about your you know background into music okay uh, we know you love the 80s sound but uh, what what got you there what were some of your influences my influences was Rick James mm -hmm. as far as production Yes. Like uh, me and my brother would always make music. We would rap. But when we when I got into the production side, mm -hmm. I would listen, lo listen to people, look at who's doing their own music, like writing, arranging, and producing. Mm -hmm. And we came to the conclusion that we need to do it ourselves. You need to do it your own. You stuff. know, we would be involved with a bunch of other producers who weren't necessarily happy with the production. So if we were going to succeed or fail, we wanted to make sure it's on our terms. Mm -hmm. So we, that's when I got into the production. Okay. So okay. I started producing, you know, and we started putting our own package together. All us. Excellent. Excellent. So can you describe for someone who doesn't know, um, you know, the, the side of music involving production, what, what kind of skills do you need to produce music? Well, your ear is probably the biggest thing you need when you're making music because you got to be able to hear sounds and be able to put it together so yeah you know and for me i'm able to hear a bunch of sounds like i can do anything in my opinion like i like to do everything and whatever sounds good i don't just stick to one type of style or one genre of music i like to do everything so, so i could be playing around the keyboard if i push a key oh i like it it could be an accident i like it i'm going to start putting it together so that's how for me it's the ear. It's it's kind of like you're like a music designer. Like you can you can hear the finished product before it actually before comes. it actually and you comes. Know how to put the different pieces yeah. together. That's that's really a talent. Exactly. Yeah. And um, yeah, I you know there are a lot of great artists, but they're even greater with great production behind yeah. them. You know, yeah. uh, because people remember the beat, and the beat comes from production. True. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. So, Mr. Sleepy, yes. how are you doing tonight? Good, how are you? I'm good, good. And yes. I remember, from, you know, first connecting with the both of you yes. some time ago back in St. Clair. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, you were doing great things. So, tell me what you're up to today. Well, right now, I'm, uh, like, lately I've been working on mixtapes because everybody was doing mixtapes, mm -hmm. right? A lot of, like, non-commercial stuff. So, now that my producer's fully working now, <laughs> and we're working on an album or an EP, Right, and it's uh, it's gonna be all trying to put a mix of everything together, you know, experiences and commercial stuff. Not so hard, kind of like a message. My old stuff never really had a message, you know. Mm -hmm. So now I'm trying to be more positive and have a little message in there. Okay, right? what kind of message do you, you want? Be more to... positive. You know, you could be from the streets, you could be from the hood, but you can still be positive, have respect, mm -hmm. and be respectable. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. So you know, we all come from hard places, but a lot of people use that as an excuse to do negative stuff. Right. So that's where I'm at right now. Okay. Yeah. That's great. So you want to be like a role model? Well, not a role model, but I mean, <laughs> there's so much. I, they say that hip hop is a young man's sport. So if a 15 year old's on the top of the world and everybody's listening to a 15 year old, that's what the world is kind of going to follow. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not. Gonna, I don't want to say a role model, but at least 
a balance, mm -hmm. right? A good influence. A good influence. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So tell me, um, Pac, what, what is next for you? Do you have any, um, you know, upcoming events? Are you working with, with artists that we should know about? We well, the follow? first artist you should know about is Mr. Sleepy because I'm doing his album right now. We're doing his EP. So that's, that's somebody great. you should look out for. I always say. And I, and I have been watching. You. Don't, so don't you sleep on sleep. Should. Don't sleep on sleep. No um, sleeping on Mr. Sleepy. No. There's a couple of features in the work. Um, not official, like a hundred percent, like it's going to happen, but, uh, those are like in the near future, but mainly, Mr. Sleepy. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, well, okay. We'd love to collaborate with anybody. With anybody. Like, anybody. Any genre, anything. I'm down. I'm down to do something with anybody. Okay. The and door is open for The for door is that. open. The That's good. Open. It's good yes. to be very flexible. I mean, it opens so many more doors for you. But um, can you share with us about your background? You both have very unique uh, looks. Um, we usually say Italian and Jamaican because that's mostly the roots that we came, like, grew up under. But our fathers uh, mix with, like, and we always say we don't even know exactly. We know Chinese, <laughs> and it, it's a debate wow. from Scottish and, and Irish. Irish. <laughs> but we usually just say Jamaican and Italian because our mother's Italian, our father's half Jamaican, and then a quarter Chinese and Irish or Scottish. Irish or Scottish, <laughs> Scottish yeah. <laughs> so so I think we got that um, cover. I think we ended up getting confirmation it's Irish. Okay. So <laughs> I think, I believe so. So we're Irish, but yeah. 99%. But we grew up. <laughs> Mostly Jamaican and Italian, I would say. Okay, right. so, so so dinner time was like lasagna and curry goat. Pretty much, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. yeah. Pretty when much. they see me in my dress, they're like, "What Jamaican Italian? You're a pasta fire right?" <laughs> <laughs> what? That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, yeah. so it's good, it's so good. So so um, maybe if I can get both of your uh, opinions uh, or maybe advice rather for someone who is thinking about coming into the music world as a producer, what advice would you give them? My advice would be yourself. You have to know where your your skills come from. Like, if you think you can produce, you have to. You, whether you have a musical background in playing a piano or something, just be yourself. Incorporate it with whatever sounds you like, and I think I think everything will be okay. Okay. Be that's yourself. my. That's be yourself. That's number one. Be yourself. I, I think that's even aside from producing music, Don't singing. To what anybody else says if they if they knock you or whatever, always follow your dreams. Doesn't matter what anybody else says. Okay. So, yeah. Mr. Sleepy, what would you what would you say? Advise someone who's thinking about being a rap artist or hip hop. Well, it's hard. Artist. To, I would say, yeah, be yourself, original, and yeah. Don't, don't, don't ride the anybody, waves. Don't make anybody. Um, talk you out of following your dreams, right? Because a lot of people could discourage you and you could be like, you know what, maybe it's not for me, forget it. But you could always sharpen your skills. Or, it's always room to grow. Right, there's always room to grow, exactly. Whatever happens, it happens in the timing that it should. Yes, because yes. if you look at these mega stars, Drake, you know, he was not an overnight success. And, and there's no there's no one blueprint to say this is what you have to do no. to do it. Right? Everybody's no. path is different. Everybody's path is different, thank you. So. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just a matter of time. But I thank you so much for thank you. you know sharing uh, your wisdom and letting us know what you're up to. Uh, so please, how can we follow you on social media? Pack I'm on producer. Instagram mainly, uh, Pack the Producer, and um, you'll get me there. Okay. I'm also on Twitter. It's 808 Production. So yeah, I like that uh, logo you have. Yeah, that's, Mr. Sleepy's yeah, logo. That's, right? sleepy. that's actually my fist too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a, it's not a drawing. It's his fist. <laughs> and where can we follow you, and Mr. You sleepy? You can follow me. I'm uh, just on Instagram. I'm Mr. Underscore Sleepy eighty oh eight. And I guess uh, videos on the YouTube. But is it uh, Mr. It's uh, eighty oh eight production. I Mr. Sleepy slash eighty oh eight entertainment. Yeah, we'll be posting some videos right on, YouTube. on YouTube. If you wanna get in contact with me, uh, yeah, Instagram. Okay, awesome. Thank okay. you. It's been Thank a pleasure. You, Thank, Thank you, you so for much. Having us. Thank you for being Thank here. Thank you. Okay, Pack the Producer and Mr. Sleepy followed on our social media. We'll be back. The Nikki Clark Show, transforming lives one story at a time. If you would like to be a guest or become a part of our live studio audience or even to become a sponsor, just go to www.nikkiclarknetwork.com.